at that. We based it on the design of the Arctic Tiger. We based polka dot on the G Tiger. We guessed the center of gravity and we put it right here. We put the G Tiger on the CG stand and we found it to be CG. Every time we've tried to fly polka dot, it takes down right here. We drew a line on the wing and we ended up with that point. And then we measured to the center of gravity and then to the back of the plane. The distance to the center of gravity was 17 centimeters. The distance to the back of the plane was 37 centimeters. On the Jean Tiger, the center of gravity is 0.46 on the center cord. If we use the same math on the tiger, on polka dot, we will be 25% back on the center cord. That's what the center of gravity is right here. And then we're going to try to fly that. If we use the model on the tiger, our new center of gravity should be right here. If we use these two ratios here and solve for x, we'd end up with 20 centimeters back. And this is percent of gravity. To move the center of gravity from here to here, we we'll need to, to take the battery and move it to here. So that's what we're going to try on polka dot! By using the Jatiger as a model and some math, we know how to go forward on polka dot! And really good. We had trouble with the CG and we moved the battery from here to here and then it flew so well. <laughs>